This is Recursion 2 Group Sum 5. Given an array of ints, is it possible to choose a group of some of the ints such as the group sums to the given target with these additional constraints? All multiples of 5 in the array must be included in the group. If the value immediately following a multiple of 5 is 1, it must not be chosen. No loops are needed. Um, so let's go over the sample cases first. Um, so here, our target sum is 19. So all multiples of 5 in the array must be included. Therefore, the multiples of 5, 5 and 10 are included. These sum up to 15. Next, we use 4. 15 plus 4 equals a target sum 19. Here, again, we use all uh, multiples of 5, which are 5 and 10, so that's 15. 15 along with 2 sums up to 17, therefore again this is possible. Here we have the case, we use all of the multiples of 5 again, 5 and 10, so that's 15, and then we try to create 12. 15 is already greater than 12, therefore um, whatever we add here, we'll just continue making a greater sum, but what we want is a weaker sum, a smaller sum. That simply is impossible. We cannot add a positive value to 15 to create 12, therefore we will return false. So, yeah, so this is actually, like all the other Recursion 2 problems, this is a modified version of the original backtracking classical problem um, that was Recursion 2 group sum. So from that, our insights were, actually, that problem was just saying, given an array and a target sum, can we choose a grouping or a configuration of that array to sum up to that target sum? And these were the insights that we got from there. We iterate through the array by incrementing start, and our choices for each value are use it or don't use it. So here, this is really similar again, except it's a little modified, in the sense that if the value that we are on is a multiple of 5, our only choice is to use it. It says that it must be included, therefore we don't have the um, choice of not using it. All multiples of 5 must be used. Um, additionally, um, Along with the fact that all multiples of 5 must be used, if the value following that multiple of 5 is 1, it must not be chosen. So we will also have to use that constraint. Um, aside from that, all other values will have those two choices, use it or not use it. So let's go over the sample cases. I'm sorry, let's go over the base cases. So first we have, um, yeah, so before we start, let's just note that just like group sum 6, we have to iterate through the array in its entirety before we check if the target sum equals 0. This is because, for example, let's say that this equals 2, right? So if this is 2, we start at index 0, it's 2. If we use 2, then it already sums up to 2, therefore we turn true, right? Well, no. We still have to check with um, and go through the rest of the array and check if there are multiples of 5, it's just 5 and 10, before we um, see if that entire grouping or sum of that grouping is equal to 2. If we don't do that, we just automatically conclude that this works even without checking um, and adding on 5 and 10 to that grouping. Once we do, of course, that will be 17 or something along those lines, um, which is greater than 2, so this will have to return false. Um, yeah, so let's start. So first, because of that, um, we have to check if we are done iterating through the array. The way we do this is by saying if the start uh, pointer is after num.length or equal to num.length. This just means that, yeah, we are done iterating through the array. So if this is the case, we check the target sum equals 0. If it does, we return true. If it doesn't, we return false. Um, now let's do the recursion. So first we check does the value that we are on, is the value that we are on a multiple of 5? Because as you can see, the recursion for this is pretty simple, but we have to modify it um, for, and look at certain cases if the value that we are on is a multiple of 5. So let's first check. Is the value that we are on a multiple of 5? If this is the case, oh, my bad, if this is equal to 0. If this is the case, then we check is the value immediately following about equal to 1. So first we will check the start plus 1 is that less than num.length. 
This is because if star plus 1 is greater than num dot length, that means that we will have an index out of bounds error just because we're looking for an item that does not exist. So if this is the case, and um, the item at star plus 1 is equal to 1, then our next step is to use the multiple of 5 that we are on. So first, oh, and then um, skip the value immediately following it. So that would be start plus 2, dumps, and then we use the value that we were on. So just to reiterate, uh, we have to use the value all multiples of 5, so this is why this was used. We use the multiple of 5 because it's the multiple of 5, right? And then we do start plus 2 because if we are on um, this, for example, and we do plus 1, then we are here. Um, if we do plus 2, then we skip this and we go to, on to the next one. And what we want is to skip the immediately following value if it equals 1, so this is why this happens. Next, if the um, immediate, the fault, sorry, the value immediately following the multiple of 5 is not equal to 1, then all we do <coughs> is continue on with the array, like so, and use the multiple of 5. Now we have a case if the value that we are on is not a multiple of 5. If it is not a multiple of 5, we have a choice of using it or not using it. If we use it, we have this. Um, and if we don't use it, then we have this. This part is the exact same as the previous recursion two problems. So if you have trouble understanding how this works, then just check the our video on recursion two group two. Sorry, group sum. So now that we're done with the recursion, let's see if it works. So and and um, bad operating type in line. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, so this hmm, yeah, so this has to be if the value immediately following equals one. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so there it is. It works.